Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. It's haul time, this time for the month of April, of course. Welcome back everybody to another exciting installment. I am so happy to be with you guys once again talking about all the nerdy stuff I acquired. Uh, it's the norm on these videos. I usually say it every month. If you want me to review a specific product, let me know down below and I will happily do so. You know, eventually the goal is to review <laughs> as many things as possible for you guys. But yeah, if you want to see something reviewed uh, quicker, just uh, let me know and I'll get to it as humanly possible. All right, let's begin with manga because manga are uh, pretty cool. Starting off with My Hero Academia Volume 18. There's a front cover and the back. My Hero Academia Vigilantes Volume 4. Here's a front cover. Here is the back. More Luffy's as I like to call them. Of course, I'm referring to One Piece and their omnibus editions over at uh, Viz Media. This is I, I I don't really know the number, but uh, I think this runs up to volume 20 of the Omnibus series. But if you're counting um, the, the actual volumes inside, because these are three in one, there you go. From uh, 52 all the way to number 60. Here are the covers. Looking pretty pretty awesome. Next, you know I will be covering this immediately. It is Junji Ito's smashed the uh, story collection with uh, you know matching spines to uh, Frankenstein and Shiver. Alright let's go to comics and in this case trade paperbacks. After reading DC Metal I had to get Justice League Dark 1, one of my favorite uh, DC comic teams because I love the magical and paranormal stuff and two this is a killer roster with great art. You know I had to do it. Uh, this is Unnatural Volume 2 The Hunt. Next up an indie comic published by Image. This is Kill Six Billion Demons. I will hopefully do a review on this pretty soon because it's it's a pretty uh, fun uh, title if I do say so myself. It's about a girl trying to rescue a boy, uh, his uh, her boyfriend that's been captured by dimension hopping knights. So yeah it's pretty <laughs> It's pretty wicked. Next up, some hardcovers. Finishing off my Aquaman uh, Dan Abnett run. This was published in standard size hardcover. It's Justice League Aquaman Rise of the Ocean Lords. Looking pretty cool. And in case you're wondering, even though it's a standard size hardcover, yeah, it does have uh, those uh, cool uh, covers on the insides. Let me open it up see so this finishes off Abnett's um, Aquaman run now after this is gonna be uh, the comics which ha already has a volume one uh, solicited next up we've got BPRD Hell on Earth volume 5 the hardcover this finishes off Hell on Earth and there should be another one for the devil you know I think I got that right but yeah another one that's coming up that I really want to read as well the shiny as hell edition of Paper Girls Deluxe Edition, book two, hardcover, and look at this thing. This this is fabulous. Yeah, look, it's really awesome. I love this. Paper Girls, another great series from Mr. Brian K. Vaughn, and finally, um, Castle in the Stars, the Space Race of 1869. This was a Omni Dog recommendation as well as a near mint condition recommendation as well. So there you go. All right, let's do figures uh, because it's just three pops. <laughs> I'm not collecting them uh, super hardcore. I just I'm trying to finish off my Overwatch collection. Here is uh, Brigitte. I hope I said that right. If not, sue me. Uh, Moida. And I got this really cool gift from my friend Matt. Thank you so much, buddy. This means the world to me. I finally have a Todoroki to go with my uh, Hero Academia set of uh, Funko Pops. So yeah, I want to highlight a letter I got from a very good friend, uh, John. The stamps were finally delivered, so I packed them for you. Hope you like them. Much love, Omnibro. Thank you, John Wilson. Thank you so much. 
this really means a lot. You didn't have to do it, but it is so awesome and so kind of you. And this is really, really freaking badass. Check this out. These are like limited edition stamps over uh, in the UK. You can see the Hulk right there. It is Iron Man, and I don't know if the camera can can do its thing, but it's like a little it's like a little story about uh, Marvel Heroes UK uh, taking on Thanos, the Mad Titan himself. And this one is it's the, the actual stamps with the characters: Captain Britain, Thor, Spidey, Captain Marvel, and all those other guys as well. So thank you, John. Thank you so much. This really means a lot to me. It really touches my heart uh, that you would do that. Thank you. Finally, actually, my favorite part of this haul, movies, or I should say DVDs and Blu-rays. Uh, the only DVD I got is set 37 of Naruto Shippuden. We're one set away from finishing Naruto Shippuden. It's pretty monumental. Here is well, 37 with episodes 473 all the way to 486. Actually, I can't show you what's inside because it's a spoiler. So, sorry about that. All right, for uh, Blu-rays, I had to do it because it's the manga is great. I've heard nothing but great things about it. I saw a little bit of the anime, loved it, and I cannot wait to go in depth with this and actually do like one of those video essays that I did for uh, the Legend of Fujiko Mine a couple months ago. I want to do one for this gem right here, Golden Kamui Season 1. This is the only set that's available. comes with a lot of cool stuff in it. They all come with a uh, limited uh, art print from the anime illustrator. Mine wasn't signed, but you could get yours. Uh, at random, you can get one that was signed. But here's mine. comes in a little slip. comes with a booklet that has a ton of information ton of information, character designs, here we have more beautiful artwork, and of course talking about the series and the history behind it, and it's pretty <laughs> damn awesome. Here's the actual Blu-ray case itself, season one, with um, yeah, the actual disc inside, Golden Kamui, it's pretty awesome if I do say so myself, also because I ordered it from Right Stuff? Yeah, Right Stuff. I got a gift of purchase, and it's like this copper uh, coin that you can't really see all that well, but it's of the protagonist, of one of the protagonists. I think the other way you could get the other coin of the uh, other lead was through the Funimation website. So, plug, plug, hey, you could get another gift from them if you don't like that coin. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it, it, it's a lot of content. I was really surprised by it. Next up, A Silent Voice, the movie. I saw this uh, way back in 2018. Breathtakingly awesome. I love this movie so much, and I am really happy that it's finally out on a Blu-ray. There's a limited edition coming out in November, but I'm happy with that. This, I don't know why it was liquidated, because every seller from a third party is selling it for real cheap. I don't know if it's because the movie's not that great, but hey, as a collector, I am happy to get it. I wanted to own as many uh, One Piece Blu-rays as I could get. So I got One Piece Film Z, the Blu-ray, and DVD. For like, I'm going to say 9 or $10, something crazy like that. Next up, a double pack from one of my new favorite anime series. I love this series so much. It is Hunter x hunter or hunter hunter whatever you want to call it this is phantom rogue the first uh, theatrical movie and the last mission which both i got for really good deals online this is awesome look at that those <laughs> wonderful little spines the back and i love when you can have uh different uh covers here's uh last missions uh cover under the slip and phantom rogue probably my favorite of the two so yeah really really looking forward to talking about more uh under x hunter eventually on this channel next up one of my guilty pleasures i keep saying guilty pleasures there's no such thing i like what i like folks uh hosuki's cool-headedness i talked a little bit about this on 
uh, Omnibro's Life a couple weeks ago, here is the first set of the anime adaptation, and it is such a treat, such a delight. Here are uh, how the discs look. This is a great series. If you can get your hands on it, or you can watch it at like Crunchyroll or something, I really do recommend it. It's funny and bizarre and all kinds of awesome. Plus, I love... Uh, where is this dude? I love that dog. He is one of my spirit animals. God bless him. Um, okay, to uh, round things up, finally, I had to do it. It took a long time because the package uh, got uh, got sent back to the wrong address and it traveled all across the country. Finally, it arrived. It is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I could have gone to a local Walmart or whatever and gotten it. But, you know, me being uh, who I am, I wanted to save a few bucks, so I did get it for a good deal. I just had to wait a long time. Like, it, it literally traveled from Georgia to Florida to Denver and then to my place. It's crazy. Speaking of superheroes, my favorite movie of 2018, Aquaman, the 4K steelbook from Best Buy. I had to do it. It took me a while uh, to get it, but I finally did. So... Yeah, there's all the cool artwork inside. I love this movie so much. Uh, and finally, here is Justice League versus The Fatal Five, the latest DC animated flick. I am really excited about to watch this and give out my uh, thoughts on it eventually. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's about it uh, for my haul. Uh, pretty good sizable haul compared to other months. I'm really excited to talk about some uh, titles with you guys. I'm also really excited to do uh, more in-depth reviews and, and video essays and all that fun stuff. There are lots of interesting things at work behind the scenes of what we can eat them. I'm toying with the idea of introducing several other elements that um, I can't talk about just yet. So yeah, <clears throat> if you want me to review a specific product, let me know down below and I will happily do so. Also, follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, do all the things that all the other people tell you to do. If you'd be so kind and you can do it as well here, I'll be forever thankful. I have got to go. I wish you nothing but the very best. God bless all of you. I love you. Thank you for uh, supporting A Week in Geekdom. I will catch all of you on our next episode. Oh, 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 o